Oh, Father, I'm glad you're here. I want you to hear this. I have a confession to make. Well, spit it out, son. Oh, leather.
you guys and you gals you know we, we haven't been down here for a long time I'll tell you one of the reasons for not coming back here as you can see we are extremely cramped on this stage what you need is you know a bigger stage and hey, maybe we'll come back more times it's a little bit hard to give the maximum impact of our that's right it really does it creates a vacuum at one end of the tube. Now, it's, it's a little rough to reveal the total splendor of our presentation under these kind of munchkinized surroundings, but we're gonna give it a whirl. First thing I'm gonna do is introduce to you the members of our rocking teenage combo. Give me some more monitor. Turn me up. This is Vince Caliuta on drums. Arthur Barrow on bass. Patrick O'Hearn on bass. Tommy Myers on keyboards. Ike Willis on guitar and vocals. Denny Wally on guitar and vocals. Peter Wolf on keyboards. Ned Man on percussion. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. is shorter than the other end, both my feet's too long. Of course, not right along with them, got no natural rhythm. But I go dancing every night, hope one day I might get it right. I'm a dancing fool, dancing fool, dancing fool, dancing fool. I hear that beat, but you're out of my seat, but I can't compete. Folks all dressed up like they fit to kill. Walk on in and see them there. Gonna give them all a thrill. When they see me coming, they all step aside. They has a fit while I commit my social suicide. I'm a dancing fool. Dancing fool. Dancing fool. Dancing fool. The beat goes on and I am so. So, heh, wrong. wrong. The beat is on and I'm so 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 wrong. I may be totally wrong, but I'm dancing fool. Together now with my very own disco clothes. My shirt's half open to show you my chain and the spoon for up my nose. I am really something. That
that's what you probably say. So smoke your little smoke, drink your little drink while I dance the night away. I'm a dancing fool. Dancing fool. Dancing a drink. Are you looking for Mr. Goodbar? Wait a minute, I've got it. You must be an Italian. You're Jewish? Love your nails. You must be a Libra. Your place or mine?
you don't you want a man like me? He was a playboy type, he smoked a pipe, his favorite was out of sight. He had an Irish setter. It was a singles bar a Tuesday night, the moon was dim, the band was tied. They did the bump together. What a splendid sight. Her teeth were white. The drinks were cheap. It was ladies' night. He was glad that he met her. She was an office girl. My name is Betty. Her favorite group was Hell and Ready. They discussed the weather. was a lonely sort, just a little too short. Her jokes were dumb, and her favorite sport was hockey in the winter. <laughs> he was duly impressed and was quick to suggest any sport with a puck had to be about the best as he jabbed his elbow in her. Oh, get it, baby. You've heard it five times before. You might get it again. Later on, they went off to where the music was soft. The candles were drippy. They saw a real hippie who delivered their dinner. The rice was brown, and soon they found that the crowd around that had jammed the room, well, it seemed to be getting thinner. Honey, honey, hey, baby, don't you want a man like me? He took her home to a motor court. She wouldn't kiss him. He tried to ignore it, but it made him angry. <laughs> he called her a pig, a slut, and a whore, a bitch, and a cunt, and she slammed the door in a petulant frenzy. A petulant frenzy! This is a petulant frenzy. Woo! I'm petulant and I'm having a frenzy. On the sofa she weeps. Boo, she weeps and she weeps. Boo, she weeps and she peeps through the curtain. He just got in his car, but the battery's dead. So he has to use the phone And she gives him some head And that's the end of the story Honey, honey, hey Baby, don't you want a man like me? Honey, honey, hey Baby, don't you want a man like me? Honey, honey, hey Don't you want a man sometime? Cause if they find one 
run miraculously And they try to be loving as they can be Cause if they find one and let him go The chances are they might not never find one no more So they keep it greasy so we'll go down his ass Keep it greasy so we'll go down his ass Keep it greasy so we'll go down his ass Hardest to find. A good woman needs to ease her mind. And I know a few that need to ease it behind. All you gotta do is grease it down and everything is fine. Keep it greasy so it'll go down his ass. Keep it greasy so it'll go down his ass. Keep it greasy so it'll go down his ass. Hold over and grease it down. I'll drive you through the heart of town. A girl don't need. No fancy grease to get herself some rump release. Any kind of blue will do. Maybe from another part of you. Blue from the north. Blue from the south. Take a little slobber from the side of your mouth. Roll it over. It down. Here come the crazy screaming sound. Keep it greasy so it'll go down his ass. Keep it greasy so it'll go down his ass. Go down his ass, roll it over and reach it down. Down. Down.
I gotta go. 
Jesus freaks Well, they're friendly, but The shit they believe Has got their minds all shut And they don't even care When the church takes a cut Ain't it bleak when you got so much nothing So what do you do? Eat that pork, eat that ham Laugh till you choke on Billy Graham Moses, Aaron, and Abraham They're all a waste of time And it's your ass that's on the line for the hotel room. Escape for all of you. Tiny is as hard to do. 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 Thank you. 
타는 어토홈 Time to blow.
Say I'm the cutest boy in town. My car is fast, my teeth is shiny. Tell all the girls they can kiss my hiney. Here I am at a famous school. I'm dressing sharp and I'm acting cool. I got a cheerleader here, wants to help with my paper. Let her do all the work and maybe later I'll rape her. Oh God, I am the American dream. I do not think I'm too extreme And I'm a handsome son of a bitch I'm gonna get a good job and be real rich Get a good, get a good, get a good, get a good Women's liberation Came creeping all across the nation I tell you people, I was not ready When I fucked this dyke by the name of Pretty Son of a bitch Am I a boy or a lady? I don't know which I wonder, 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 wonder So I went out and bought me a leisure suit I jingle my change, but I'm still kind of cute Got a job doing radio promo And none of the jocks can even tell I'm a homo Eventually being a friend Sort of drifted along into s and &M. I can take about an hour on the Tower of Power Long as I get a little golden shower Oh God, I am the American dream With a spindle up my butt till it makes me scream And I'll, I'll do anything to get ahead I'll lay awake nights saying thank you, Fred Oh God, oh God, I'm so fantastic Thanks to Freddy, I'm a sexual spastic And my name is Bobby Brown Watch me now 
going down And my name is Bobby Brown Watch me now I'm going down And my name is Bobby Brown Watch me now because the name of this song is Conehead stay on my head. But anyway, Cornhead. She ain't really dumb. She's just a Cornhead. Tater chip crumbs all over her face. Is there any more beer stashed away at her place? She's just a Cornhead. You know, she can't help herself. You know what I mean? A Cornhead girl. Picture a ring That is the thing That's getting her hot Tough A hoop or a ring Going over the top Of her corn head You know she is from a small, small town in France She a corn head girl You know That's what she gives me Head. When she's on her knees, the point is so high. I, I keep saying, please keep it out of my eye. Cause she's in Cornhead. Remulac, Remulac. Everybody sing along with this card. Come from. That is where they are coming from. So, in celebration of the greatest Red Mulankian holiday of the year, which is forthcoming on October the 31st, we want each and every person in this audience to sing along with the very name of the planet itself, Red Mulank. where they were coming from. And if you guys don't sing along, I know where you're coming from, you know what I mean? Now don't be chicken shit now. This is New Jersey. I know how you guys are around here. You can't fool me by sitting sedately in your chairs because I know what you do in your spare time. Now I'm gonna give you one more chance. We call this, in the trade, we call this chance number one. Chance number one for audience participation. That means we're gonna play really soft and you're gonna sing really loud, you know what I mean? Okay, here you go. Two, three, four. I'm coming back. Remulac, Remulac, Remulac. Remulac. You see how easy it is to be in rock and roll? All you gotta do is sit down and say, rent me like, there's nothing to it. All right, you keep singing that and I'm gonna play my guitar.
now, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the big one. This is the song about people. Now, these people, I can't stand these people. We had to have a song about them. These are the people that live in California, that perform functions in all of the useful trades, you know, and they never get it done right. Can't stand these people. And these people are called Flakes. And here's our, uh, here's our song for them. One, two, three. some acid bob but you know what well, they didn't do nothing but then they charged me double for sunday and you know no matter what you do they're gonna cheat and rob you and then they'll send you a bill that'll get your senses reeling You do not pay. They got computer collectors. Oh, that'll get you so crazy until your head goes through the ceiling. Oh, yes, well. a cake with a paper knife all what we got is american made it's a little bit cheesy but it's nicely displayed well we don't get excited when it crumbles and breaks we just get on the phone and call up some flakes they rush on over and wreck it some more and we are so dumb they're lining up at our door well, the toilet went crazy yesterday afternoon. The plumber, he says, never flush a tampoon. This great information cost me half a week's pay. And the toilet blew up later on the next day. Yeah, 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 blew up the next day. We're coming to get you, we're coming 
from commercial strictly 
commercial. And the young man getting all dancing to jump up with your hammer and glue. And he started in a whipping on my favorite baby seal. With a lead filled snowshoe. I said, with a lead. Snowshoe. Snowshoe. He said, peekaboo. With a lead. With a lead film. Snowshoe. Snowshoe. He said, peekaboo. He went right upside the head of my favorite baby seal. He went whap and he hit him on the nose and he hit him on the fin. He hit him on all of the important disco organs. Well, you know, that got me just about as evil as an Eskimo boy can be. So I bent down and I reached down and I scooped down and I gathered up a generous spin full of the deadly yellow snow. The deadly yellow snow from right there where the huskies go. And then I proceeded to rub it all into his beard. Lies with a vigorous circular motion hitherto unknown to the citizens of Passaic, but destined to take the place of the much in your mythology. The vigorous circular motion, rub it! Hey! 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 Alright, now this is it. This is what we call in the trade chance number two for audience participation. Here's what you do. Now, as you all, you, all, you all already know the story of the fur trapper and all that stuff, and you know this is the part where the fur trapper gets ruined for injuring that baby seal. Now, you're going to help me. Here's what you do. Stand up. Stand up, 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 up. No sitting down, all standing up. Okay? Now, now, audience participation, as you all know, audience participation is in itself a very stupid thing to do. And we are going to surpass all of the more stupid forms of audience participation with this little gesture that we're going to do right now. Now watch me. This is just for rehearsal. This is what you'll be doing in a moment. Now watch. Now you pounce. You pounce again. You jump up and down the chest of them. Great googly moogly, you're all going to injure the fur trapper. You ready? Okay, here you go. Now you pounce, and you pounce again. Some of you aren't pouncing. Now what's the matter with you? You two ripped over there? Hey, let's pounce here. One more time. And now you pounce, and you pounce again. Jump up and down the chest of them. It makes me feel just like Jack LaLanne. Okay, now sit down. Beats the shit out of jogging, right? You know, sometimes when you're jogging, you have to step into dog poop and everything. You'd never find anything like dog poop in a theater like this. You know, it's really very healthy. Pouncing is a healthy activity. I advocate pouncing rather than jogging. As a matter of fact, a lot of you ladies in the audience Here's my plan. A lot of you ladies in the audience should encourage your boyfriends to pounce more often. It'll keep them off the street and keep them out of those stupid suits with a stripe down the side because the only reason they're jogging is so later they can pounce. So get rid of the middleman and tell them to pounce and watch the sales of Perrier water go down, down, down. Meanwhile, the fur trapper, he was really fucked up. He started looking around, man. And he looked around, and he looked around, and he looked around. You know what he said? You already know what he said. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. 
took a dog to the snow cone and stuffed it in my right eye. He took a dog to the snow cone and stuffed it in my other eye. And the husky wee wee, I mean the doggy wee wee, has blinded me and chittery. I can't see temporarily. Well, the fur trapper, it was at this time that he remembered the ancient Eskimo legend wherein it is written on whatever it is that they write it on up there that if anything bad ever happens to your eyes as a result of some sort of conflict with an audience in Passaic, New Jersey, it actually says this, folks. The only way that you can get it fixed up. Now watch me now. You gotta go trudging across the tundra. Mile after mile. Trudging across the tundra. Right down to the parish of St. Alfonso. Now, as you know, St. Alfonso is the patron saint of the smelt fishermen of Portuguese extraction. And if there's one thing you better watch out for, it's Portuguese extraction. If you've ever had a Portuguese extraction, hey, forget about it. Now look, Ed is going to play the famous lick that takes us to Alfonso land. You ready? Just for saying we are fun, so there's a line of it, white, who is a 
fortune by the night. There's no light above me white. The red fortune by the night. There's no light above me brown. There's no finest in the town. There's no light above me brown. There's no finest in the town. Good morning, your highness. Ooh, I brought you your snowshoes. Exactly what you expect, but you're gonna get it anyway. This is this is from 200 Motels. It's the the name of the piece is strictly genteel. It's the ending music from 200 Motels.
something nice happening with us tonight, folks. Yes, disco does suck, but it's divine for the people who love it. For those of you who are staying for the second show, we'll be back in a little while. What, you want to hear Dynamo Hum? Is that the only reason you came down here? You want to hear, you want to hear Dynamo Hum? Sure, I'll play Dynamo Hum for you. Sure. All right, now look. This guy over here needs to hear Dynamo Hum. I can't turn him down. One, two, three, four. I rub my chinny chin chin and said, My, 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 what sort of thing might this lady get high upon? The $40 bill didn't matter no more. When her sister got naked and laid on the floor, she said, Dynamo might win the bet, but she could use a little <laughs> if I wasn't done yet. Well, but just because I saw her want a place in the sky, no reason to assume I wouldn't give her a try. So I pulled on her hair, got her legs in the air, and asked her if she had any cooties in there. What do you mean, cooties? cooties? What cooties I mean? She was buns up feeling. I was wheeling and dealing. She surrendered to the feeling. Started in the squealing Banging them a watch from the edge of the bed With her lips just twitching and her face going red Some drool rolling down from the edge of her chin While she spied the condition her sister was in She quivered, she quaked, she clenched at herself Her sister made a joke about her mental health until Dynamo finally did give in, but I told her all she really needed was some discipline. I said, kiss my aura. Now you're probably wondering why a grown person would say that to somebody. Well, I'll tell you, there's a really good reason. Because you see, it is and always has been real Angola. Now, would you all like some more right here on the floor? And how about you, Fauna? Do you want? All right, now look. This is what we call in the trade chance number three for audience participation. This is it. This is the big one. Okay. You're gonna sing along with a song, even if you don't know the words. And we're going back to the beginning and do it all over again. You ready? One, two, three, four. Couldn't say where she's coming from, but it just meant a lady that go home. So long, I'm sitting with your mom. Gonna pour that bill since you can't make it come. Hey, you just can't do it. Well, I don't mind, just call me a bum, but I knew right away she was really gonna come. So I got down to it. 
thumb and a five roll takes no shit up on. I poke them so the wrist got numb, you know I heard some dynamo hum. Dynamo hum. Dynamo. 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 Now look, this is what they call in the trade, chance number four. Now, I know you're all pretty tired because you've got a really busy life. And I know that maybe you're under a lot of social pressure from your peer group not to act like, hey, nobody wants to be a schmuck. But remember, this is audience participation and during audience participation, everybody is a schmuck. You know what I mean? That's what makes the participation. So I'm gonna only, I'm gonna give you one chance. If this is really put up or shut up now. If I look out there in the audience and see one person who isn't singing when we go back to this dynamo hum business, that's it. If I see one person who's not singing it, and I don't mean just sitting there moving your lips because I can tell. I've been in the business so long I can tell if there's really air coming out. Now give me some spotlights down here because some of these people are half asleep. And we must have a little bit of audience participation. You ready? Dynamo! 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 Oh, well, ah, there's one. Bottom. Okay, all right, stop. Spotlight right here. See this guy right here? Well, look at this. Stand up. Stand up. Look at this guy with a Rolling Stones shirt on. Big deal. Huh. Let me tell you something. I looked down there and he wasn't even moving his lips. So you know what that means? That means thanks a lot, folks. We'll be seeing you next time. Good night. <laughs>